Hello and welcome to another CAD clip, AutoCAD 2007 3D. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the new uh, sweep command. And the sweep command is um, nothing new. Um, the difference being it's a little bit different with interface and you don't have to align the profile you're sweeping uh, with the path. So that part has uh, improved, which makes, again, things so much easier for us trying to teach 3D because you're having to use your UCS a lot less now and it's just become a lot easier and more intuitive. So the um, the sweep command is really a, a no-brainer here. Um, and all you really have to do, and I've just got a bit of a boneyard you can see here, and all this one here is, and I can take, actually, I've union those together with my Boolean operations, but this is an ellipse that is swept along a straight axis and given a twist, which makes sense, right? Here's an ellipse, okay? And the line that it... Uh, was oh the path uh, has disappeared or I left it I think it's over here somewhere but um, this is an ellipse um, swept along a straight line with a twist of you know uh, in fact you cannot twist it 360 degrees I'm noticing you have to go 359.9 degrees and this one is an ellipse swept along a straight line um, that is only twisted by 270 degrees rather than all the way around like this one which is near 360 and then I've taken these two and just kind of union them together is all I've done with that just to kind of show you here's another example before we get started where I've taken you know a, a shape like a star just a polyline okay and then I've taken uh, a, another polyline that is uh, been fit curved and then I take that star and I sweep it around there and in this case I think I also gave it a slight twist as well okay I think a 30 degree twist from start to end so from start to finish it'll twist that amount same type of thing over here okay here's a rectangle okay and it looks like the path it's this is an interesting one because the path of this is actually just a 2d um uh, line maybe it's still there let's move it away there it is okay that's just a 2d line okay and all you do is take an object we'll do it here sweep up here on my dashboard select the objects to sweep it says this enter and then we get some options and I can say okay well first thing I want to do is specify the base point it's going to take the centroid but I'm going to say B for base point and I'm going to hover over here and over here and I'm going to find that intersection click by using my object tracking then it's going to ask for the sweep path and I'm going to say okay well I'm going to say twist before I pick my path and it's going to ask me you know the angle and I'm going to say angle of you know 90 degrees and then now finally I'm going to pick the path and then wait for a minute it's going to generate that solid object for you Okay, and then in the other cases, I've clicked on here and gone to my properties and then maybe changed the color or something like that. Okay, and then you end up shift middle mouse button with that shape there. Okay, and that's really it. You can provide all those options as you saw in the command line or you can not twist it or you can select. So you can select a regular polyline. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to say sweep. I'm going to pick this as my object, enter. I'm going to say uh, no twist or anything. I'm just going to go straight to here and then do it and that's it. It's that easy. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fill it and say P for polyline and then give a, a radius out oh, select the polyline and then fill it that okay however I want and then I can do another sweep this to this enter oh you can pick more than one object that's what I did this enter and then this and then it'll do that sweep and then you know go have a look and do your twist there's really not that much to it okay the other thing is you can pick more than one object what would happen if I move this to be here? Let's go back to my top view so I can see what I'm doing here. Let's take this and move it from the center of there to using my beautiful object tracking. 
the center of there and then let's even take this and maybe you know bump it out a bit see what happens okay we can do this from 3d or we can do it from 2d it doesn't matter let's go back to our 2d and I'm gonna say sweep and I'm gonna pick more than one object enter and I'm gonna go straight pick the path it's gonna take that shape it's gonna sweep it around there and then we have that shape okay I can go look at this in different um, viewpoints if I want okay using my nice jitter got the jitters and uh, change the color and add materials etc all by your properties and then do a bit of work on material so you can pick more than one object to do the um, to do the sweep and let's just have a last uh, look at our sweep command in particular and it doesn't matter I'm just gonna draw an object here so I can start the command I'm gonna start my sweep okay select objects again select one or more objects and then enter so twist will give you a twist and it has to be less than 360 degrees I'm discovering um, scale you can simply scale the object okay base point you can pick the base point by default it's going to take the centroid of the combined objects and then the last one here is alignment if I say a for alignment you have the choice of aligning uh, the sweep object perpendicular to the path so that's our big treat there by default the answer is yes which we would normally do if you say no what happens is it won't realign it and it'll sweep it in their two relative positions okay so you can choose to align it which is the big bonus that's probably the new part so your uh, profile can be laying down and your um, and your path can also be laying down they don't have to be relatively placement and then otherwise you can say no and then it will take the object and uh, and then it will leave them relative to one another and do the sweep that way so you have that al alignment um, choice that you can make and then the actual path that you uh, do your sweep along you can use a spline a fit curved polyline um, okay I think you can use a splined polyline let's just make sure let's go PE for polyline edit pick on this and say S for spline enter okay because a spline we know is not the same as a fit curve okay let's try this out okay I'm gonna use my sweep I'm gonna pick this object enter and I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna set a twist of 90 degrees just for fun and then I'm going to pick this point and unable to sweep objects okay now let's try it without a twist this enter this okay not working interesting so let's do another sweep for this object enter to this okay that one works okay let's do PE for polyline edit and let's do fit curve enter okay and let's do a sweep of this enter this okay undo and let's the I guess you can so there you go you can um, use a fit curved polyline but not a splined polyline okay what if we draw just a spline let's try this one more time to make sure this enter here and oh that time it worked interestingly enough so the thing is you have to be careful if this object is too large and it starts to actually interfere with itself as it goes around the corners that's where you'll end up with the problem so that may be the problem with this is that those uh, curves are a little too too drastic okay what if we try this one more time and we pick our rectangle oh rectangle's gone we have to draw a new rectangle and then I'm just going to draw, draw a spline and this doesn't even have to be a rectangle okay we can do a loft here, or sweep this this oh, okay so could be interfering with itself I might have to make that a bit smaller and the last thing is what if we just actually draw a spline instead okay and we do it let's draw a circle just to make sure and do our sweep this enter this and there it is 
And that's it. It's nothing too difficult. Uh, try it out. Experiment. Get creative. Start to use all of these tools we've been talking about. Don't forget about our Boolean operations of intersect and subtract and union, which is where we can take these you know, objects and start to blend them in with each other and then maybe do a subtract subtract from this enter this and then it'll actually remove from that and of course the more complicated the shape you have the more um, the more difficult it's going to have it but as you can clearly see it does the uh, does the boolean operation there for you so take these tools that we're using here you know loft and sweep and all these tools and combine them together to build your models